Want to keep up with the latest Gary Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, in this video, we are going to be playing Farming Summon 19, and we actually have two cool mods to check out um, that are actually made by different people as well. So, usually we like to check out mods that are all made by the, the same person when we do videos like this. Um, but, I don't know, there was just two really, really good mods, and... I decided let's just let's just put them both in one video. So the first one is going to be um, this vehicle here, which we'll go over more in a sec. And then the other one is going to be a new kind of police vehicle, and that is I'll, I'll just kind of tell you guys it is actually a police bike. That is right, a police bike, and it's something that I don't know if we had any of those in the old game. So it's like a police motorcycle, I should say. But anyways, let's go ahead, guys, and get started. So we're going to start off by checking out this Land Rover. And this is currently private, to my knowledge. It is not complete yet either. It is made by It's Dot. I think that's how you, how you say the name. It's like I-T-S-S -S dot. And then I think Space Gaming. I, I, I could be wrong. It's something around that. Uh, it might be it's dot 93 space gaming. I, I think that's what it is. But anyways, let's go ahead guys and check this thing out. So it is honestly quite cool already. The, the, it's not in its final state yet. So if there's a few things a bit off. I know that like the dials don't work. And um, the mod creator also told me there's something with the collision. Uh, oh, I think. Yeah, okay. So that's how that's you going into the back. I think that's the collision that they were talking about right there. And then I think the rest of it. Seems to have pretty proper collision for the most part. Uh, oh, I guess right here. I don't know. But that's stuff that's being worked on. Uh, there is, though, like a general structure, which is good to see. And it's also good to see that the modder does know about that. So it definitely will be fixed in the future. But either way, guys, we will go ahead and check out this interior first. So it's quite cool. Uh, the, you're a little bit close to the wheel, I would say. I do like the positioning, like how we can see around. Uh, but we definitely are a little bit close, so maybe moving us back a little bit would be a good idea. I'm not quite sure. You see, we have these really nice seats in here. Actually, here, I'll turn off the vehicle for now. We have these really nice seats. Uh, we have our dash that looks really, really good. The wheel spins correctly. There's nothing weird going on there. Uh, yeah, so it goes upside down that way and upside down that way. So perfect. And what else? We have all of our dials there, so we can kind of zoom in and see those. Whoops. Uh, GS at FOV 10 again. I know that bugs me. Oh, wow. These are actually really high quality dials Like they have proper textures. That's really good. Like we can literally read it saying Land Rover. You rarely find that Wow, even the time like the little um clock in here has Land Rover on it. Do you guys see that here? What if I go like? There I you guys better be able to see that but now here one. Ooh, There we go land ro like look at how usually you would never zoom into anything that much but like that is land rover okay i don't want to make you guys sick so we'll go back to normal um but yeah really really cool even the seats are branded it's quite nice and then the engine sound so here i guess we can turn this up a bit uh okay here uh or we'll just turn this up Okay, here, I'll stop talking. So, yeah, quite cool, guys. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. We'll lower that back down to around 40. Should be good. I'm just going to save the game, too, because why not? And, yeah, let's, let's go ahead, guys. Actually, I guess I can show you. There is some customization options, I believe. So, here it is, $28,499. Uh, uh, like, usually, it's called a Defender 2011. And, yeah, so you have your stock 300 horsepower, which is what we'll be driving this video. Then you have your tuned 400 horsepower as well. Then you have your race tuned. So I'm not sure what that speed is. But here, so I don't know how accurate this is. 62, uh, 60. Okay, so all those say 62. So that's not quite up to yet. And then there is 
color options as well. I just kind of went with the default, but we have like all of those cool new colors. Uh, where is it? Scarlet red. That's a nice, that is a very nice red. Uh, nitro blue. Oh yeah. Nitro blue is good. What else? Where's gun metal? I know you guys like gun metal. I'm not the biggest fan on like, okay, no gun metal is really nice. It's probably actually better than the one we chose for this video. Like, I, I don't know. I, I like this one too, but the gun metal is quite nice. It just, I don't know. It doesn't take thumbnails that well. I don't know. All right. Now, now that I'm looking at this, we might've wanted to change, change colors. But yeah, so the headlights work too, guys. Quite cool. Uh, and yeah, we'll just kind of get going here. Also, I really like the way this roof is, like, because of how this vehicle is designed. If we could sit on the back, like, look, you can literally see through those top windows. And there's an extra row. Looks like there's really good legroom, too, back there. I don't know how you get in it, but... Or actually, there's no seat in the middle, so maybe through the trunk. I guess that could be one way. Or that you can probably just fold down one of these seats or whatever, but... Yeah, quite cool, nevertheless. So let's go ahead and we'll drive on over. Uh, also, this has really good suspension, as you guys can tell. And you guys will see that more when we're driving. Oh, let's fold up this trailer. Whoopsie. There we go. And it does have a winch on the front as well, a working winch. So that's quite cool. Um, yeah, honestly, it's just a really good mod. Still needs a bit of work, like the mirrors need to be done, but... And the gauge is working... And that collision issue. But again, that's what we get with these kind of like beta mods. And I, I'm, I don't know. The guys, uh, this modder, as you guys probably know, is quite good what he does. We've we've played with lots of mods he's made before. And yeah, it, it, like he makes those dealerships, I believe, too, actually. And I want to say the scrapyard. I could be wrong about that, though. So I don't want to say for certain that it's him. But I, I think it is. Fairly... I'm fairly sure it is. I don't know. Really cool mods, nevertheless. But here are the police bikes that I was talking about, guys. And before we take a really close look at these, because, guys, they're they're quite cool. There's lights on them. There's everything. Before we take a closer look, here is a message from our sponsor. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay, guys. So our sponsors actually who made these bikes, Lambo Mods and his team. Um, yeah, they, they've been working on these. And so these are available if you join their Patreon page. Link is down below, as said in that sponsored clip. Uh, by the way, I know I still need to update the visuals for that sponsored clip. Um, I don't know. We, we just we keep using their new mods because they just keep releasing more and more and more. So it's like every mod, I'm like, okay, now I want this to be in it, right? So... We need to figure out which mods we want to feature in the clip in the future. But either way, let's go ahead, guys, and uh, check these things out. So when we sit on them, I think they follow the K Kawasaki. I want to say that's how you say it. I think I think that's how you say it, but it kind of follows that model. Uh, it definitely drives different, though. And there's aspects of the way these drive that I like, and there's aspects that I don't like. I find that these things cruise for a while. Like, I'm not clicking the throttle. Here, I'll click it. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, let go of the throttle. And we're still rolling quite a bit. Um, it just kind of makes it hard for adjusting. Backwards, I I'm not clicking it right now, right? So, it definitely does roll. But it's quite nice, nevertheless. For the lights on it, one, two. And, yeah, those are our two options. Honestly, I think they're the same uh, lights there. Here, let's see. GS... Set daytime, 24, I think it's the same brightness. Yeah, so the headlights and the uh, running lights at night are the same. And then we have our police lights. Here we go. These ones definitely are reflecting on the ground nicely. They're quite loud too. Look at this, guys. Really, really nice. It is reflecting off the metal here too. Wow, even... That's lighting up. I thought that was a license plate, honestly. Is that even legal? I don't even know. Okay, let's make it daytime again. You can kind of see it's still definitely reflecting on the ground, which is nice to see. We can kind of drive it around a bit. Now, it does turn pretty good. It's definitely like it's a motorcycle, right? This game was not designed to have motorcycles, so 
kind of got to get used to it. First person view looks amazing. The mirrors work as well, which is quite nice. Now, I don't know how often I use the mirrors since you can just kind of look behind you quite well. Um, but they're there, which I'm happy to see. And yeah, it also, this is one of those mods that has a cool like fuel level at the bottom right. You see it says like 20 and then it says 99% diesel. So yeah, I guess this thing does take diesel. Here we go. Okay, so let's actually see a few different speed options of these as well. Uh, we're kind of going through stuff a little bit slow this video. My bad. <laughs> here, where are they? I think it's under here. Yeah, flashing lights. Okay, so it's the Police Ninja ZX or ZX. I don't know, depends where you live. A 10R. So it's ten thousand two hundred ninety-nine dollars. And again, that's how it looks. So we have the nine hundred ninety-eight CC. We have the engine delivery 650 delivering engine delivering 650 horsepower and then the 900 horsepower and then back to the first one so yeah you can see right here that is updating the top speed isn't updating maybe it's the same top speed i don't know uh i'm not actually too sure about how that one works um but yeah pretty cool nevertheless let's go ahead and unfold this i haven't actually te by the way what's this weird sound do you guys hear that? Wait. Is he going to do it again? It was like making the... Here, wait. How do I make it do the sound? Um, Maybe it's the trailer that was doing it. I'm not sure, but it was like the sound of... um, I don't know, like when something's unfolding. Like a... I don't know, a tailgate's unfolding. It just kept playing that sound. Okay, so these are going to be very hard to get on here. I'm hoping we can fit all four. We might only be able to fit two. It's kind of hard to tell. We might actually have to back this thing up. But right now, I'm not clicking the throttle. And it's just kind of rolling. Oh, geez. Okay, these are good at flipping back, which is good to see. Yeah, the turn radius is what you would expect on these. Here we go. Okay, come on. There we go. You really just got to tap it. There we go. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Collision's a little bit goofy on here, I think. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit weird. That could be from the trailer, though. I'm not quite sure. Here, we'll put that one there. That's good. Now, that is heavy. You can see that it is making our trailer struggle there quite a bit. Um, Okay, can we get this thing lined up? We definitely... Yeah, I don't know why this is so, so heavy. Probably helps with the stability. Uh, I was hoping we could just drive up the middle there, but nope. We need to drive up the ramp. It is realistic in that sense. Oh, my. Okay. You know what? Honestly, guys, these are just so hard to put up on the trailer. Um. Okay. Okay. I love when. Okay. This is a bad sign. When stuff starts acting like this in the game, it just makes. It means that videos are going to be very uh, interesting. So I'm just going to kind of shimmy these over like that do these strap down yet don't doesn't look like they do uh, again this one of those things that usually gets added to mods when they're more in like their final stages or like at release but I, I I'm assuming these eventually will be getting that feature added to them because usually Lambo mods does like to do that I actually I believe he said that all of his mods were gonna have the ability to be strapped down in the future so, yeah, kind of cool. I would, I would love to see motorcycles being strapped down in this game. That, like, guys, FS19, there's already so many things that FS17 never had. Now, with that being said, there's still a few things like having, um, like, that mud that slows down your vehicle and stuff. We don't have that yet in the game. And we don't have a passenger script. And I guess we don't have, like, a way to fight fires yet. But besides that, I think everything else we do have. And most things we have better. So, yeah, or at least main things we have. Like those main function functional uh, scripts that we used to have. But yeah, quite, quite cool nevertheless. Like we do have a teleporting mod and stuff. I just haven't downloaded it yet. But I, I've heard lots about it. <laughs> well, obviously, we got seasons and all that. and I don't know. It's quite cool. 
Here we go. Let's drive on over all the ways back. Okay, I'm actually going to save the game now because I don't want to. I don't want to have anything mess up here. <laughs> here we go. Okay. So let's get moving. Uh, I'll remove the stops and then put them back. Yeah, so those don't stop down, but we'll just drive slowly. I doubt the motorcycles have much suspension built into them, and I know the trailer doesn't have suspension because, well, it's a trailer, but our vehicle does. So as long as the trailer kind of stays on flat ground, we might be okay because I don't think the front's really going to be having too many stiffness issues just because of how good the suspension is on this, right? Here we go. We'll try first person, I guess. Kind of got to watch these turns. Here we go. By the way, it's definitely a different sound in the interior than the exterior. I think if you zoom in a lot. Um, no, I was thinking if you zoomed in a lot, you might be able to hear that same sound, but I guess not. Like, I don't know. The interior is just, it literally sounds like a different, uh, a completely different, like, sound file that's producing a completely different type of sound. <laughs> Okay, here we go, though. Let's drive over. Luckily, this police station isn't that far. By the way, guys, also, just thank you for the support on these police car videos. Um, I know we've been doing these a lot, but we keep getting new mods out. Like this one that we're using right now, these uh, motorcycles, they actually came out the day I'm recording this. Now, with that being said, I don't think you guys have seen this video for a few days, or at least you might not be. I'm not Actually, you might be seeing this video today. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, either way, it's quite cool. Nevertheless, let's move these over. I guess we only need like one spot for the motorcycles or, oh, well, no, actually at police stations, usually they have multiple, like a motorcycle gets their own spot, but like, I don't know, at, at my college guys, there's one like giant spot that all motorcycles park in. It's kind of like a double like it's pretty much the size of like two of these spots and it's labeled motorcycle parking it's honestly actually quite far back in the parking lot too but it's pretty cool nevertheless so yeah here we'll put that there i i you know what i, I think it should be good if we have these all in one spot maybe making them in two spots so they don't block in each other that might be a good idea yeah you know what let's do that one there one there one there and then well, here we'll kind of rotate these directional wise uh, or distance wise I should say there we go there yeah I, th I think I think we're good so guys thank you for watching this video hope you guys did enjoy if you did please drop a like and consider subscribing I would greatly appreciate it and shout out again to Lambo Mods and his team for making this map and for I think all yeah all the police guys are seeing Thank you, Iconic Upgrades, for making this trailer reuse. Thank you to It's Dot, I believe, 93 Gaming um, for making this Land Rover. I think that's about it, guys. Any public mods like this truck you're seeing right here, any public mods like that that are used in this video can be found on my website, gearplays.com. Any mods that are private can just be found credited on my website, but obviously... The links will not be available there. It will just have a little private tag beside it. So, guys, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.